Gasoline is the fuel that powers this modern age. On the highway, on the farm, and in the air. This is the inside story of modern gasoline. It's a big story, but it starts with something so small that no man has ever seen one. The carbon atom. Hello, folks. I'm a carbon atom, and since I'm an essential part of each of the hydrocarbons in crude oil, I'm here to give you the inside dope on gasoline. I'm the smallest possible particle of carbon. Why, I'm so small, a thousand billion atoms like me could dance on the head of a pin. Scientists know I act as though I had four arms. And these fellows, who are the hydrogen members of this combination, have only one arm. We're going to form a molecule. Watch. I grab hold of hydrogens like this. Then, another carbon. In doing this, we make a kind of chain. See? When we're together, the combination is a hydrocarbon molecule. One of the many, many different hydrocarbons. For instance, we have formed a typical gasoline molecule. Now I want you to meet some of my relatives who form in the same way, but have different patterns. I'm another hydrocarbon, a gas molecule. My size makes me a typical kerosene molecule. I'm one of the fuel oil molecules. A light lubricating oil molecule. That's me. I'm a heavy lubricating oil molecule. All of these carbons and hydrogens make me a residual materials molecule. So you see, there are lots of different molecules, different sizes, different shapes, all found in crude oil. Crude oil is still the best raw material for today's great motor fuel. In modern refineries, science builds gasolines from selected groups of molecules by changing their sizes, shapes, and structures. To do this job calls for great storage tanks. Batteries of pumps. A maze of valves and pipes. Mighty facilities. And an army of experienced, specially trained workers. The first step is to separate the crude oil into the parts that you saw a moment ago. This is done by distillation. You know that when you boil water, the vapors can be condensed. The same principle is used in distilling crude oil. Giant units with bubble towers condense vapors just as the cold tumbler did. Here in a single tower, much simplified, crude oil is separated into the different fractions needed for gasoline, kerosene, fuel oil, and other petroleum products. Here we see the crude oil being heated. Most of it is vaporized. At the bottom of the bubble tower, unvaporized large molecules of heavy lube oil and residual materials are drawn off. At the second level, the light lube oil is condensed out of the vapor and withdrawn. At the third level, the largest of the lighter remaining molecules condense to form the fuel oil cut. At the fourth level, kerosene is condensed and drawn off. At the fifth level, the gasoline molecules become liquid, leaving the very light gas molecules to go out the top of the bubble tower. In the average crude oil, only a limited amount of gasoline is present. So let's see what we might get from this simple distillation. A barrel of crude oil produces 20% residual fuel oil and asphalt, 7% lube oil and wax, 
39% gas oil and fuel oil, 15% kerosene, 1% gas, and gasoline, only 18%. Not nearly enough for today's millions of cars. But science came to the rescue by inventing the cracking process, enabling refiners to make more than twice as much gasoline from each barrel of crude. Today, were it not for the demands for fuel oil and diesel fuel, almost the whole barrel could be converted into gasoline. By making more gasoline, cracking has conserved our natural resources and at the same time made gasolines of higher anti-knock quality for greater performance and economy. Here's a typical gas oil molecule to be cracked. You're already familiar with the way it's constructed. To crack it, heat is applied under precisely controlled conditions. More heat than is needed for distillation. You're watching how science first changed a molecule into more useful one. On the left are two gasoline molecules. On the right are gas and carbon, all obtained from cracking one gas oil molecule. Thus, science first created gasoline where none existed before, high anti knock gasoline. Here is one of the great units that produced gasoline molecules by cracking tens of thousands of barrels of gasoline each day.